So this was definitely a last minute clip. This is, a, I mean, sorry, last minute video. I wasn't planning on recording this and I got permission from Stacy to actually post this after I recorded it. So you will see me not refer to her in the video, but I want everybody to read this post and I'm going to go into the video because this shit is out of control. Like, I just can't. Hold on, let me let me let me get on about about this thing so I can so I can have at it. Um this is definitely a last not not a last minute post, but a last minute clip, topic, whatever you want to call it. Yes, I'm probably gonna be cussing because I'm pissed off. I'm already aggravated as fuck. First of all, what way I'm going. I'm already aggravated because I'm hungry. I ain't ate all day. For one. For two, uh my neighbors ain't shit. And it's, it's, it's becoming, it's just getting to me every day. Like, it's always something. And so it irritates the fuck out of me. And for three, I just seen some shit that pissed me the fuck off. Sorry, y'all. Don't, don't try that at home. Um, it just, I just seen some shit that pissed me the fuck off. And also, disclaimer, please know when I am recording, I'm not looking at y'all, even though it may look like I'm looking at y'all, but I'm definitely looking at the room. Um, so, because I don't want to, you shouldn't be walking and driving. I shouldn't, you're right. You're very, you're very much right. But trust me, I'm definitely paying attention to the road, especially living in Houston. But I seen some shit that perturbed my spirit. And excuse the bumps, um, I'm on my way to Chick-fil-A and I had to go ahead and knock the vlog out the way while I'm here and just, you know, go ahead and get some stress up off my chest. But I seen some shit and you'll remember I had the whole We Matter series, right, where I talked about mass incarceration and I talked about Karens and white privilege and shit like that. So I was coming across the dirty streets of Facebook and uh, somebody I know posted made a post of she's an african-american woman and i'm not saying her name only because i don't know if she wants to be in the vlog but somebody i know is real close to me that i really just fuck with like that had posted you know she lives in seattle she's an african-american woman posted uh about a white lady who was following her around as she was by her job or near her job and the company i'm assuming that she works for is a white company and she has her uniform shirt on and is in the post she says that she wears her uniform shirt for for reasons such as this and my uh conclusion i'm sorry i was angry as shit reading it so i had to like go back and look but the lady was wondering what she was doing there like why are you here by here you must mean this neighborhood okay you follow her around and then you attempt to ask her, oh, you work at such and such? Like, oh, okay. And it's like, did you really just, did you really just follow me around? Like, what? It's, are we doing, did you, see, is she handled it well? She handled it well. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give her that. She handled it like the bigger person. That was some G shit. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, the Lord's still working on me. He's still working on me. Had that been me, had that been me, it's no way. 
it's it's no way. She'd have been all kind of bitches that day. Like she'd have been all kind of bitches in hell. I would have showed her why she attempted to follow me around because I'm a black woman. I would oh you want so you think I'm a threat because I'm an African American woman because of the color of my skin whether I'm a woman or a man because I'm African American I'm a threat to you and your neighborhood oh okay see I'm really not a threat I actually work here bitch and I'm probably smarter than your motherfucking ass but since you want to assume I'm a threat I'm gonna be a threat and now I'm gonna have to cuss your ass out and of course she probably ran out of there like a bat out of fucking hell when she realized that she fucked up which she did she fucked up like that shit fucked up bro and like i said i'm cussing because i get mad at shit like that like shit, shit it pisses me off because this happens way too much it happens way too much like why why do we do this it's like we cannot go into certain areas we can't go to certain places we can't go to certain neighborhoods we can't do shit because of the color of our skin if i take my black ass right now and, and it, unfortunately, the darker you are, the more of a threat you are. But even as a light-skinned black woman, I'm still black at the end of the day. Depending on what the fuck I got on, if I go walk my ass, and if you're not from Houston, then you won't get this. But if I go walk my ass in River Oaks or motherfucking uh, Bel Air area or, you know, wherever, like any white area, I'm automatically a target. Like, I, I bullshit you not. I was on the phone with my mama the other day, and I was venting. And I was trying, I couldn't like drive and vent at the same time. I had to kind of take a pause. So I pulled over into a neighborhood, a predominantly white neighborhood. If you from Houston, I was off of Buffalo Speedway and Sunset. So I'm in like West U area, Rice Village type area. If you from Houston, you already know that shit majority white. Them cops do not fucking play that. I tell Rodney all the time when we driving, if we in white man's land, you slow the fuck down. I pulled over and on like one of the streets and yes I was in for some in front of somebody's house parked on the street and I'm talking on the phone to my mama and then like five minutes into it I realized like damn let me move my car because I don't want to look suspect because I'm a I'm a I'm a nigga a female nigga sitting on a white folks street in front of somebody's white ass house so therefore they can just call the cops on me just cause not to mention the cops are already hot in this area so them motherfuckers could just be driving by and see me in the car like excuse me ma'am why are you why are you over here why are you what you doing why are you just sitting here because of the color of my skin the fact that I had to even think like that the fact that I had to even do that the fact that that shit came to my motherfucking head is what's ridiculous because I don't understand and I don't think I'll ever understand why shit like this happened, but it happens and it's like you can fight and fight and fight and fight and fight about the shit, but unfortunately you got some dumb racist motherfuckers out there. Right now I'm driving through a white ass motherfucking area. The Chick-fil-A I go to is in a white ass area. Even when I go to the Chick-fil-A, I got the white ladies in the drive through looking at me like I'm crazy. They want to cut you off. And another thing, people don't realize white privilege comes when driving too. If a white motherfucker see you driving and you black, that privilege kick in. You might not notice, but that privilege kick in. I'm going to cut you off, bitch. Like, you black. You don't matter. And you in my neighborhood. So fuck what you and your little car got to say. Me and my fucking brand new ass Range Rover or whatever the fuck I'm driving about to cut you off because you don't matter. Because your life doesn't matter. Why are you even over here? That shit pisses me off, bruh. Like, we got good ass jobs too. Black people work in nice ass places. We live in nice ass places. We rich too. Like, god damn. We in your neighborhood, nigga, because we can be in your neighborhood. This ain't your shit. It's like, damn, you don't belong here. Says the fuck who? You and your white counterparts? I belong where the fuck I'm standing. That's where I belong. I belong where I'm standing. It's, you ain't finna tell me where I can and can't go and where I am and am not supposed to be. You not finna do that to me. You not finna do that to my peers. We gotta stop that shit. We gotta stop that shit. That's why I said it couldn't have been me, bro, because I'd have cussed her ass out. I, you would, you gonna learn your lesson because I don't want you to make the mistake of doing this shit again. And I feel like if you let people get away with shit, they do it again. Nah, nigga, we finna end this shit right here. We finna go ahead and cut this right here. 
And y'all know I, I got anger issues, so I'm definitely not I'm not the one for it. I'm not the one for it. Then I'm I'ma start a whole revolution. Hold on, I'm at Chick-fil-A. Okay, I'm back. I couldn't be cut. Y'all know damn it, my video got cut off fooling with the connection. Wi-Fi connection or something like that. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, cause I'm cussing about y'all right now. You know what's me? <laughs> y'all know what's fucked up? I'm sitting here going off and I'm in the Chick-fil-A line and me and it was a young white boy in the truck. And we was going at the same time because I guess we finished at the same time. And he let me go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he must have knew I was talking about his family. Um, anyway, that doesn't, that doesn't. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna say what I gotta say. Hold on, because this is bumpy. But yeah, bro, like that, man, that shit messed up, dog. Like, I don't like that. I don't I don't like that. I don't like for one, I don't like when shit happened to my friends. That really get on me. There, there's no faster way to piss me off than to fuck with people I love. I, I it's it's yeah. <laughs> like y'all don't understand the passion that I have for other people. Like it's it I can take the heat. Don't fuck with people I, I, I fuck with. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. The two times I did go to jail with somebody else, I, don't do that. But you know, I'm 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 growing up. But I ain't grown enough to not have cussed that motherfucker out. <laughs> I would have cussed her out. She'd have had to get cussed out, or she, I, it, it's one of two things would have happened. I would have had to get real stern, which means I'm gonna get real disrespectful yet educated with your ass. Or I'm gonna cuss you out. It just it, it could be anyone. It depends on what Miranda you get at the situation. It depends on if you get Miranda a Monet. I, I don't know. I don't know. It anything's possible. But she would have I would have had to say something to her. Like, no, I'm I'm gonna stand in front of your car. Like you're not going nowhere until we had this discussion. Cause I can't think you would you and your homies can't believe that this is what really goes down. I'm finna have to teach you. And then when I teach you, I want you to go tell everybody else. I'm not gonna do nothing to you for you to call the cops on me and then I end up dying anyway because they on y'all side but I am going to teach you some sort of lesson so that you know don't do this shit no more don't do this shit no more it's not okay it's not okay that we are not allowed in certain areas or neighborhoods or stores because of the color of our skin literally it's skin our ethnicity our background we are not allowed because of that because we have melanin we are seen as a threat you're following me around because i'm black in your neighborhood like seriously bro this shit gotta end this shit has to end but it's not gonna end unless people make a big deal out of it like you have to make a big deal out of it but you have to be strategic and organized at the same time like i told christian i said bro you know when i see something i can't not say nothing like i I can't. It's it's my people, so it gets under my skin. It pisses me off, and then I gotta say something about it. And for me to have a platform and not use it don't make no sense. It makes no sense for me to do that. It, it's like, why do you have a platform? Why did God give you a voice if you ain't gonna use it? And I'm the type. I'm gonna say what I gotta say, and I said what I said. I stand on what I said. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you because again, I said what I said, how I said it. It's it's no way around it. Like. I'm not going to apologize for what I said. I don't care. Because it needed to be said. And if somebody, if ain't nobody else going to say it, hell, I'm going to say it. Y'all know I have no filter. Like, I have no problem calling people out on their bullshit. And that was some bullshit. And everybody else who do that shit, all the other fucking white motherfuckers that do that shit, you need to be called out on your bullshit. Period. Because I done been like, everybody know about Dave everybody he lives in a now of course i'm not gonna say exactly where he lives but he lives in a really predominantly white neighborhood the man's a multi-millionaire it's closed off it ain't you ain't finna it's like fort knox you ain't getting that bitch if you ain't got a million codes and three million ids even driving through there it's like why are you here me and rodney went over there rodney is a black man on on site on site he looks intimidating on site because he is a black man with long dreads. And nine times out of ten, he probably got on some sweatpants and a hoodie 
or some jeans or something and some damn slides if he ain't working or he got on his cowboy boots but he's a black man in america he's automatically a threat just because of that so if we're in this neighborhood and they looking at us like what are these two niggas going what y'all doing over here what if we lived over here you think i don't actually plan to live in a nice ass neighborhood one day i damn sure i gotta get away from here what if we live there like bro you don't know people's situation like that girl worked there like and and me knowing her she has got to be one of the most intellectual women like sis is smart like i'm talking about smart like on her shit beautiful don't don't look like no threat sweetest person ever bro like that shit, that really pisses me off because you don't know who you fucking with. And one day you're going to fuck with the wrong motherfucker because one or two things are going to happen. That black person either going to whoop your ass or that black person going to fuck around and own the fucking land you living on and you don't even know it. This, this lady killed me feeding these goddamn cats. I, I hate it here, y'all. I hate it so bad, I swear I don't like it. But they gon' you gonna fuck around and say something to the wrong nigga one day. And you gon' you gonna feel stupid, you gonna look stupid, or you gonna get yourself hurt is what's gonna happen. Cause niggas black people getting tired of this. We gonna get we getting tired of this. It's it's getting real old real fast and it's aggravating. Especially with this younger generation. Oh, they not to be played with. That younger generation ain't no joke. These kids coming up now, they ain't got no fear. They ain't got no fear. If if we can just show them the way to do it, to where it's organized, people that's in my generation, if we can show the young kids how to do it right, so it's not wild and chaotic and it's a whole bunch of stuff going on and they not organized, if we can show them the right way to do it, to do it oh, talk about pressure. Talk about applying pressure. This new generation ain't nothing to fuck with, bro. Like, they not, they not having this shit. <laughs> like, it's, it's not... They not having this shit. And and white people, y'all gonna have to chill. Like, y'all really gonna have to chill. Because you, you gonna get fucked up fucking with the wrong person. And that's... That's just that on that. Look at... Now, can y'all... Now, and I, I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to be a hoe. If they was to walk in a white neighborhood right now... How you think that'll go? How you think that'll go? If half my neighbors over here was to walk through a white neighborhood right now, how you think that'll go? They probably wouldn't even do it. Because it's like we know that it's a risk. Like I said, me in the car, I literally sat there like, let me move. I'm sitting in front of these white folks' house. It, it's we're we're trained that way, and it's a shame. Look at it, look at look at the neighbor behind me. This old black lady. She old. Look at her. What you think gonna happen if she walked through a white neighborhood? You think they gonna show her some grace just cause she old? No. Cause that don't matter. It don't matter what your age is. It's her skin color. She black. They gonna fuck around and mis mistake her for somebody's housekeeper. Because unless you work for them, you shouldn't be in they in they area. You shouldn't be in their neighborhood. Are you the housekeeper? Are you here to do the grass? Why what's going on? Why are you why are you here? Bitch, cuz I either work here, live here, or cuz I want to be here. That ain't your concern. That ain't your what are you that ain't your concern. Like you what you assume I'm trying to rob the place? You I think I'm finna kill y'all? Like what is it? And the person that I'm talking about or that kind of fueled the whole video I'm telling y'all, like, literally, if you, if you look at her, it's like you're not even a piece of a threat. Like, what? And y'all know I'm ratchet. I literally right now got on a hoodie, some sweatpants, and some slides. So, upon approach, sometimes I do look like an aggressive nigga. But this person does not look like that. And even if I was to go somewhere looking like that, that still don't give you the right to criticize me or to stereotype me or to say something to me or be afraid of me or follow me or approach me in any way just because your trained racist ass mind 
is telling you that this is a black person. I'm in danger. They're not supposed to be here. No blacks are allowed here. So if a black is here, then obviously they're up to no good. Yup. They calling the cops on us for no reason. That's how that Karen shit got started. They fucking with our women and our men. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That don't sit well with me because it's fucked up. It's fucked up and I had to get that out. Y'all got to stop that. Stop stop that. And it's probably this probably going to get some dislikes because I know it's, of course, one of the videos. And I, well, no, nah, I take that back. My YouTube video has been getting a couple of dislikes. All of them. So I think it's one one or two people that's going through disliking all my shit. But that's cool because that means you watching it, though. That's all that's all that matters to me, baby. <laughs> all all press is good press. Come on. That's all I get. Come on, run them watch I was up. I know you looking. If you gonna dislike it, I know you looking because you had to have heard what I said to dislike it. That'll you just ain't got no time on your hands. Like you you literally just nah, dislike, dislike, dislike. But you heard what I said though. So it's it's gonna be one person. I don't I don't care if you get offended or not. Not all white people are racist because I have a white dad. I have white clients. I'm not saying that. But majority of the time, y'all be on some racist shit. And even the ones that ain't racist, you got to watch them too if they not openly racist. Because I guarantee you behind behind backs, they probably done said a few niggas or something. It's, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's just, and app, it's, it's in their nature. Like, a lot of that shit is literally generational. It's generational. Like, I can't. That's a whole another video in itself. But that shit fucked up. Like, and if if you watch this, bro, you got all my love and support. Nigga, if I need to catch a flight, let me know. Because you can be the bigger person. I won't. <laughs> I'll come out there. Like, for real. Like, you, you handle that in a very good way. That was some G shit. Because I can't sit here and say that I would have handled it the same way. I, I can't. I don't know because I wasn't put in that position at the time, but I know how I am with my anger levels and I know how passionate I am about African-Americans and African-American stuff. And I know how passionate I am about my people and I'm bipolar. So it depends on if I was on my meds or not. You, anything's possible with me. You just never know. But that shit ain't cool. Quit that. Put that to an end. We matter, period. Don't worry about while I'm while I'm here. Don't worry about don't worry about me, period. Don't worry about me, my life, or my people, because this ain't your business. You stay over there with your people. We over here with ours. We ain't fucking with y'all. Shit, if anything, we fucking with each other. We ain't fucking with y'all, so quit fucking with us. For you mess around and get a lesson. Either you gonna get hurt or you gonna mess with the wrong person, the wrong black person in power. And you gonna look real stupid. And that's that on that. I done went to go get my Chick-fil-A. I had to go ahead and do a car ride vlog real quick. Because I seen that. It ran me hotter than fish grease. I, I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to post this. But it's going to get posted. Period. That's why I didn't say her name. Because I asked first. But then she didn't respond fast enough. And I had to go ahead and get that out. But it's, it's going to get posted. Because I didn't say what I had to say. And it's going to go into that We Matter series. Or I'm just going to post it. I don't know yet. But I got some more videos coming. Some more clips coming. So... Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Comment. And if you don't like it, I don't know. If you love it, stick together. <laughs> like, I don't really know what else to tell y'all boys. Like, I don't. But uh, I'm out this thing. I got to go eat because clearly I'm frustrated. And I got to get back to work. So, stay safe, y'all. I love my black people. Y'all be careful out there. Don't let that shit get to you. We going to make a change. Don't even worry about it. Don't sweat it. Use your mouth in a good way make a difference speak out make that shit known stand up for yourself stand up for your people period black lives matter cut it